Greetings and salutations, Tube Dwellers. This is your host, The Mad Bag, returning to Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I literally just loaded this game. Uh, the last thing you guys saw, I ran up to a house that Charles Lee was standing out in front of. I believe it's that house right down there. Um, directly after that, I stopped the recording and then I logged out. Now, that made me worry about something. Uh, this game autosaves, it autosaves constantly. But, uh, normally only with certain events. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot of autosaving just out of the blue. So I was kind of worried whether or not it would save my long journey out here. And it looks like it has. Um, I didn't even run up that cliff. It actually spawned me in on this loaded game. Right up on that cliff already. So, that's really awesome. I'm really glad that it autosaved uh, pretty, pretty valiantly. Because I didn't start the mission. I... I didn't really, uh, I didn't really have a reason to believe that it had auto-saved well, uh, and so here we are. Let's let's go ahead and get right into whatever this mission is. Hello, Charles. Sequence three, unconvinced. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. <laughs> yeah, Charles looks like he really specifically wants to get out of the cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. Huh. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Interesting. So I wonder if he's gonna chastise Charles somehow, or uh, do something, something bad to him. That wouldn't be good. I don't want to lose Charles. Uh, he could become a nice informant for us, though, because I bet his loyalties will remain with me. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Huh. They got spooked. Bollocks. Yeah. These Luckily, tracks are fresh. We're not very far up the hill. It must huh. be hers. Mm. These tracks? Seems she or took these the are horses' ground. tracks. Out of it the looks snow like... into the trees. Now, there's a lot of tracks going on here. Actually, I'm going to stick to this one that looks like it's the thickest. Uh, and I may have to use some eagle sense here in a second. Use my instincts to find where a person may hide. Look up into the wilderness as though I were a Native American and try to feel out what place seems the safest. Or maybe I'll just keep following. Oh, and what's this? Hello there, love! Actually, I probably shouldn't greet her like that. That would probably scare her. Sounds a lot like the uh, redcoats that were. <laughs> oh, I'm sneaking up. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of crazy. And there's a wolf. There are a bunch of wolves. Okay, well, I get a second chance to save some lives. Oh, damn it. Wait, come back. The, the chase is on. Before he grows oh my god, what? Oh, holy hell. Sir, She's nothing. in the air. No. Stop what is, running. What is going on talk. here? I don't understand. She is. I am not. She's like a, enemy. a squirrel. Oh, she's got a platform up there. There's Please a treehouse. Please just hear me out. Oh, log. That's gonna let me gain some Call ground on her. Only let me speak. Oh my! And here's a full-blown camp, complete with tents and everything. Are these their watchdogs? Or are these just wild wolves? I think these are wild wolves. And there are a few of them. Yeah, uh, sorry wolves, but limit health loss to 50%. Oh, space! Ah, oh, I was hitting space! I swear I hit some space. Ah, uh, yeah, one attack, I'm below 50% health, so that's an instant failure. Uh, I gotta... Come on, are you serious? I totally hit space there. I pounded space probably three times. Alright, let's see it again then. Come on down, come on down, puppies. Q! Okay, yeah, that time it accepts it. Huh. I hope I don't get any more of the space. Oh yeah, okay. Putting the dogs down quick at this point. I kind of want to fail and and nah. Let's just let's just get on with it. 
Oh! I was going to say I kind of want to fail and do it again because I think I could do it a lot better. Um, that space really bothers me. Find the mysterious woman. So, this is a camp, but this isn't her. I've now put down some wild wolves. I need to keep my eyes up in the trees. Whoa, what's this? Hello, puppy doggy. Oh, and the space works. Okay, maybe I was being ridiculous somehow. I think, actually, I think I was holding E. So that's probably where the mistake is. Um, I would still think that, that that is a successful press of E and then a successful press of the space bar. So why would holding E change anything? But yeah, my bad. My bad. Me being ridiculous, not the game being glitchy or anything. Despite the way I may make it sound. Come on, game. Recognize your own controls. Okay, okay. Eagle vision time. And what do I see? Ah, okay. I see a wooden platform. Where she remains safely above. You try else. my patience, woman! Oh come on now, don't get don't get angry with her. You know why she's running from you? Because you're a white man, and white men have shown her one thing and one thing only. Aggression and violence. Uh, can I make it up this? I don't know if I can't. Oh, and I can. Nice. I actually like that they changed that a little bit. Oh, oh my God. I have no faith in my ability to do all that. Let's just, uh, let's just stick to the ground and keep moving. Oh, oh. I know she took the path around the right, but I think I can gain some ground on her. Oh. Are you touched in the head? What? Me, Hasem. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, the one. I'm Gadzid Zio. Oh, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Uh, Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Wow. Zio. This is a terrible. Well, tell me why it is you here. Way to get acquainted. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Well? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak she the truth. She took the necklace. I now no longer have the necklace. That was very careless, Haytham. Very, very careless. Okay, so I did not get full sync. Limit health lost to 50%. That would have required that I would have been on the ball perfectly from the get-go, and I wasn't. Uh, apparently they're just going to put me at the hill. Okay. I don't know why that required... That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. Together. Good. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. She approves. But first, we have to find him. That shouldn't be a problem, especially with Charles becoming his... Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! The Indians can leap of faith! Sweet! I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. <laughs> so, uh, if she knows that I won't prove her wrong, then she's gonna be pig-headed beyond reason, is what she's saying. She's not going to trust me even when I clearly display that I am trustworthy. Even if, I should say. Even if I clearly display that I'm trustworthy. A trading post. Hold on. It gives me information about this. I haven't been looking at many of these animus posts, so I wonder. I'm just going to skim this real fast. Um, yeah, this looks like it's given me a history lesson still. Um, I, would, I would like it if it would give me a uh, gameplay rundown. You know, it would tell me if this has any significance on gameplay. The right tavern! Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. 
I can handle myself. Huh. Interesting. So, uh... I hope so. This isn't gonna look good. And I'm probably gonna get in a fight. If not, she's gonna get in a fight. That probably means that I'm gonna get in a fight. We have guards to the left, guards to the right, and here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Um, okay, so... That's a marker for the door. These guys are all getting suspicious fast. Um, but it looks like I can walk up to any table and blend so as to stop the suspicion arousal. What is she gonna do? Oh, I'm no longer blended. Hello, fellas! I'd like to talk to you for a second about the rum. Is the rum very good here? I never tried it. I'd like to. Um, so why do I get the feeling that I should... Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into eavesdrop range. And the endless blend. crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in the eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. <laughs> You're sure that's where we're going? Aye, the bulldogs putting together another expedition. Oh, that's what they're calling them now, expeditions. Aye, smart too. Slap a fancy name on something, and all evil is excused. They even know it. Eavesdrop successful. Well, there's one eavesdrop anyway. I have a feeling that I can find. A bit more information. No, no, I'm blended. I'm just uh, talking to the crowd here, just trying to get a feel for what the rum's like here. No, no, I'm blended. See, no worry. French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. The advance. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Okay, uh, so some more successful eaves dropping. Leave the tavern, it says. I've figured out everything I can. Sure, let's do that. Oi! Where are you going, Oh, uh, here we go. Me? No, the other cock robin. <laughs> well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. Yes! And you were worried I was going to be the problem? I wonder if she's going to fight with me. Oh, oh, you already made a mistake, guy. You tried to attack me. I know you want to try it. I know you want to try it. Oh, and you're not going to get anything done with it. I'm destroying, like, every table in this tavern right now. Oh, yes! Use breakable objects during a fight, two out of two. Completed it without even knowing what I was doing. <laughs> I am a hand-to-hand -hand whiz! This is like Anderson Silva versus some boxers. <laughs> oh, crack at boxing! Is that it? Wow. I just turned the entire lot of them into muck. Oh, and now she's yeah. amazed. Oh, that's nothing. Here. What is this? Take a shot. Stop the bleeding. And we share a moment. It wasn't necessary. But thank you. After I beat eight men into submission. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Nice! Okay, well. Tell me the trust is not slowly building. Unconvinced, okay, that... That title makes sense to me now. Oh, and I didn't quite get everything. Of two uh, sync objectives, I got only one. Boo. Boo. Of course, I could replay it if I wanted to. We're not going to do that right at the moment, though. We are uh, going to roll this into one. We're going to move straight into the next one. Um, so let's see. I think... Is there a way that I can just, like... That I can call a horse? I feel like I should... I should have a horse and be able to call one. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think this is the right place to go. Aha! A horse whistle? What will that do for me? Um, let's see. Q uses weapons, right? Oh! Oh, check it out! My horse comes running out of nowhere. <laughs> nice! It's like as good as in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Whichever way you're looking, the horse just instantly appears in the opposite. Whoa! Not exactly what I want to do. Let's be a little bit careful about uh, our use of this horse. I would hate to drown him out almost instantly. Now, let's see here. I've got to say, the Assassin's Creed games, one thing I've, I've always really liked, sprinting on a horse, press space while galloping to spur. Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, you can go even faster. Uh, one thing that has 
has been a constant through all of the Assassin's Creed games is that uh, horse riding just feels so yeah. ridiculously spot on. I think they got horse riding a uh, better feeling in these Assassin's Creed games than they did even in uh, like, you know, Red Dead Redemption, games that are heavily horse oriented. Uh, this looks crossable. I'm gonna try it. And hopefully my horse won't die. Okay, sweet! No undercurrent that's gonna get deceptively deep and strong very quickly. Braddock's camp. Apparently the advanced camp, just hearing that that's where he went, gives me enough information to, uh, to go there. Oh, what's this? <gasps> I think I'm gonna take a little shot off the side here. It looks like the yeah. horse doesn't mind tall snow, which is pretty great. Huh. He doesn't like walking yeah. towards ponds, though. That's gonna be a real problem in the future. <laughs> let me, uh, let me see if I can get a feel for what kind of distance we're looking at here. Uh, not much more, and it's about straight south of here, too. It looks like part of those cutscenes kind of jumped me around in a way that uh, disjointed where I've been on my map. So I don't have paths leading to all the different places I've gone now on my map. They kind of jump around. Jump around. <laughs> get your butt up and get down. I think I heard something just a second ago. It sounded like some kind of animal that was potentially large. I think I'm getting close to the camp. Oh, a matter of fact. Um... I see a wooden barricade up there, palisades, and I see... Oh, oh god, oh Jesus. Dismount, please, thank you. And chill. You can stay right there, horsey, it's a great spot for you. And I'm going to come over here to this mission start point. Hello, Zio. Sequence three, execution is everything. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Okay. Having second thoughts? Analyzing. Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. <laughs> she knows that she has, uh. She has caught the eye of. Hmm. Someone very I can hide capable. Hiding that cart. Hiding that cart. Is there a cart approaching the front? Oh, there is. Oh, I like that so much better than just masking my approach. Can I please make it to the cart, though? Oh, it's so close. And let's hope that the guards don't check this very thoroughly. You know, looking in there, I can't even see myself, so... <laughs> this bodes well. Great timing for me. I could whistle if I wanted, but that would be ridiculous. That would totally disrupt the whole purpose of hiding. Red zones on the mini map are militarized. I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. None of it French. Whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching. Blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Full inventory. So he takes a full inventory, but then doesn't check it. Not that he would find me. I'm probably hiding inside a barrel of salt. <laughs> As if that were possible. So let's get an idea of the layout here. <clears throat> There's definitely a like to cause trouble. sabotage cannons. Do not kill Perhaps any I guards. Sabotage them. Okay. No guard killing, huh? Notoriety. Level 2. Enemies will investigate on site. So that is officers, regular guards, anything. John Fraser, hold on. John Fraser, also spelled Fraser or Frazier, is a Scottish born trader. Hmm. Interesting. After Braddock failed, Fraser gave up on the area, depriving the French of a third opportunity to chase him off his land. Huh. Interesting. So, John Fraser is some ally of Braddock, I gather. Um, and let's see, the cart has stopped, so I think I can get out. Guards will check me out on site. It looks like there is an eavesdrop possibility here, too. Um, there are guards behind me, but I think think they're on the other side of the wall, so let's give this a try. Nice, I come out straight into a hiding spot. That is beautiful. Some tall bushes, apparently. Let's, uh, let's carry on into the next hiding spot. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. 
that allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict, one in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Oh, man. I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog... Oh, man. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, no. This is all gone awry. This is not a high bush, either. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't even do that one. Oh, I'm sorry, guy, but oof. Yeah, I failed. Let's go ahead and back this on up. Oh, man. Okay, let's try this a second time, and this time I need to ensure that I look both ways before crossing the street. I think this is the only guard that patrols this area that might see me, so if I can just take him out first. Yes! That's beautiful. Okay. And that did not kill the guard, because I have only my hands equipped. I don't have any weapon equipped, so I will use non-lethal takedowns. Now, I don't know if this is all the way like Dishonored. I don't think they will pop back up. Uh, they'll wake back up and start General patrolling Braddock again, the like they do in Dishonored. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, <coughs> George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me, either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts them at a risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. Oh my god. This will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. Okay. I need to find it. So that was like that was the George Washington. This is this is his early years, of course. Um, but that was the, I think he was the one in the blue coat over there. Interesting. They mentioned a map that I need to find that uh, tells of uh, I think Braddock's force layout. Uh, so let's see. Let's jump over here real fast. Luckily, the guards in this area are pretty sparsely spread. Um, there is another guard over there, but I think I can do this one without getting spotted. Choke him out! Choke him out! There's another guard over there. He might spot me if I'm not careful. Let's go ahead and relocate this body to a place much less likely to be found. That looks perfect. Now, sabotaging the cannons. There's a cannon high and a cannon low. This guard over here looks like he's watching over this cannon. Let me watch his patrol real fast. I can't see him perfectly. He's right up there on that ledge, and he's going to walk back, and I'm going to take a run over. And, of course, there are bushes right here below his, uh, his post. <gasps> I don't know if I can do anything from right below him, given that I don't have a weapon. Once he turns around, though, I'm going to try doing it from this side. I think I'll be a little bit closer to him right here. Let's see. And if not, you know what? I could just jump up there after him. This works, though! And apparently that knocks him out. Okay. Well, uh, I don't see any any long patrols that come around the whole base, but I am going to go ahead and hide this body anyway, just for safety's sake. I think that's hidden. I'm hidden after having dropped it, so that sounds safe enough. Uh, this is not one of the cannons. No, come on. This is one of the cannons. What can I do to it? Sabotage. Interact. Let's do it. I'm, uh, I'm pressing some E. Here's the E key again. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. One out of two. I'm not sure what I did there. Something. Huh. And back over there is an objective to escape on. Hmm. I wonder if I can go out the front of this. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do we have here? Hold up. Hold the phone. Yeah, I'm thinking if I drop down here that I can get back in over there. Any old way. Oh, my. This is, uh... This is quite the drop-off, though. I don't know exactly, uh... You know what? I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna be a little bit risky here. We're just gonna go for it. Woohoo! And I am good. Okay, I can't go around this tree, though, for some reason. It's just too thick. Okay, I can go around the outside. What do we have here? There are guards right on the other side of this wall. 
but none on this. Oh, there is one on this side. And I don't see any good cover. He may turn around and see me. He might not. When he turns around, I'm going to jump that way and have some faith that I can find some cover. Sure enough, here are some bushes. Alright, now do we see any other guards? There is a guard up over there. I can't tell exactly where. I just see the red dot on my mini-map. Nope, stay in the bush. Stay in the bush. I think I'm good to kill this guard or, or knock him out, I should say. Let us try it. There we have it. Can I look up at the guard behind me? I'm still worried about this guard behind me. I don't see him at all. Maybe he stays facing outward. That's cool. I don't mind that one bit. Again, hiding my bodies, hiding my bodies. Anytime we are in deep subterfuge like this, I'm going to take every precaution. And I have another cannon to, to take out of commission. There we go. Two cannons done. Haven't killed any guards yet, so I'm looking at a full sink so long as I can get back out of here. Uh, now that is going to be quite the trick, isn't it? Um, let's see. I almost want to say I might be able to come back off the front of this and will it allow, allow me to get back over to where I was before. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this looks a little hopeful. I can see a little bit of... Oh, oh, no, we're not going to make that. And that means we're probably not going to make uh, just about anything over here. Huh. So, I'm going to have to go through the inside of the camp. And I'm going to have to go through a part of the inside of the camp that I didn't go through to get over here. So that means new territory. So that means high likelihood of revealing myself to guards that I didn't have to cross before. Oh, nice, a ladder. Maybe they're going to give me an easy way up. I am extra especially worried about this guard. Oh, you know what? He's he's actually on the ground level and he is facing away. So that's pretty great. And I don't see any red dots over here whatsoever. Um, this snowstorm is pretty serious. So uh, let's, let's kind of hug this wall. Use as much cover as we can, but let's ultimately get back over to this objective point where I think, um, I'm not sure I can go over this. Hold on. Hold the phone. In the tent, maybe? Steel. Of course, there the map is. I now have the map. Escape the zone and become anonymous. Okay, so it looks like here I could probably even alert guards to my presence. I'm going to try not to, of course. But it looks like if I got caught here, the only thing I'd have to do is just keep running and become anonymous. Um, since I already took the guard out in the middle here, I think this is probably just going to be really easy for me, though. Well, maybe. Huh. I see a roof over there. I don't see a real easy way to get onto this roof. Huh. I can't jump sideways like I could in Revelations. I can't run up the wall and then jump to the right or left like I used to be able to. Um, I may not be able to get on this roof either. Hold on. Hold the phone! Huh. No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of opportunity here. So, there's one of the roof over there, but I, given that I, I can't really get on these roofs, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's try, let's try one other thing. I wonder if I could just clear this palisade wall. Now, the bad thing is that there are guards over there. There are guards out the front. Um, hmm. I may not have a whole lot of choice. I may just have to run past some guards. Okay, let me try one more little little potential here. Uh, no, it's not even letting me try to run up the wall there. Okay. Oh, come on, that's so close. I did just do that little uh, diagonal or sideways jump I was talking about a second ago. Let me try it one more time. Oh, come on, if I can do that there, I should be able to do that places like here, right? And grab the roof? Come on, why can't I just jump to the left there? Ah, oh, yes, finally, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's much better. So there's a guard out front here. There's actually a total of three. Um, hmm, this roof actually doesn't give me a whole lot of options, but seeing that I can pull that off here makes me hopeful that I can pull it off elsewhere. Let's go try a different roof real fast. Hello there, little roof. I think you've got something for me path of some sort. Oh, come on. You're not going to let me run up that? I'd really like to just run right up that. It'd be really cool if you let me run right up that. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, I'll give up. Uh, one more roof over here. 
that is actually really close to where I was when I sabotaged that second cannon. I'm going to be kind of careful. There are the two guards there, although one's George Washington. So I don't know if they, uh, they might not be as, uh, hateful and kill-oriented as other guards. Doesn't look like they can see out this side of that guard hut very well either. This guard's facing the wrong way. You know what? Before I kill him, I'm going to look off to the right here to see if I can see the other guard in that direction. But let's just knock this guy out. How about that? I'm good with that. Are you guys good with that? I'm even going to leave him right there because at this point, it doesn't matter if I'm found. Oh my god! There's a sheer cliff here. Um, I hope that I'm far enough out. Oh? Oh? Wow, that name is so weird. Speak with Kenny Ezio. Kenny Ezio? Kenny Ezio? Speak with Zio. Dio. Zio. That would have been really funny if, uh, the second she said, just call me Zio, and he says Dio, he goes, Holy Diver! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how that's not a meme. That should be more of a meme than <laughs> what it is. <laughs> It's kind of a meme among some of my friends. Okay, so I'm taking a long way around. The deep snow route! It's quite alright though. I'm getting back to zero and I'm staying totally undetected. I have the map and I've sabotaged their cannons. This camp is basically useless at this point. What? Oh, okay, she's sitting down. There for a second I thought she was in snow up to like her chest. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Huh. Nice. Execution is everything. Notoriety, you are now incognito. Mission complete with full synchronization. Ah, oh, yes. It feels good. Escape to view progress. No thanks. And I think that's going to make quite the good end point. So, thank you for watching. This will be the end of this episode. Join me in the next as I apparently make ready to ambush Braddock's forces. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.